Good Earth is rich and can provide for everyone. The way of life can be free and beautiful. But we have lost the way. Greed has poisoned men's souls. It has barricaded the world with hate. It has ghosted us into misery and bloodshed. We have developed speed, but we have shut ourselves in. Machinery that gives abundance has left us in want. Our knowledge has made us cynical. We think too much and feel too much. The more the mission continues, the more the more the cleverness. Without these qualities, life will be violent. The aeroplane and the radio can be out as clear as clear. The very nature of these inventions cries out for the universal. Cries out for universal brotherhood, the unity of us all. Even now, my voice is reaching millions throughout the world. Millions of despairing men, women, and two children. The victims of the system that makes men torture and imprison innocent people. despair. The misery that is now upon us is but the passing of greed, the bitterness of men who fear the way of human progress. The hate of men will pass and dictators die. And the power they took from the people will return to the people. And so long as men die, liberty will never perish. Soldiers, don't give yourselves to brutes. Men who despise you, enslave you, who regiment your lives, tell you what to do, what to think, and what to feel, who drill you, diet you, treat you like cattle, use you as cannon fodder. Don't give yourselves to these unnatural men, machine men with machine minds and machine hearts. You are not machines. You are not cattle. You are men. You have the love of humanity in your hearts. You don't hate. Only the unloved hate, the unloved and the unnatural. Soldiers, don't fight for slavery. Fight for liberty. In the 17th chapter of 